everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. Matter of fact, this is actually the special black box edition. If you guys want to check any of this out, of course, go ahead down there. There's a link for Bespoke Post. If you use that link, you're going to get 20 bucks off your first box. We got actually a couple of boxes with this one. We're going to try with this one first. And uh, this first box is called the Cast Kit. As you can see, one of their bigger square boxes. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got the uh, first box opened up here. As you can see, this may look a little odd, but you may know what this is uh, or have an idea on it. This, of course, is for those who are uh, connoisseurs of uh, various uh, liquors, basically. Uh, you know, if you have some whiskeys or anything else that uh, you like to have infused with additional flavors, this should be right up your alley. Uh, well, we're going to go with this. First thing they give you is a nice little bottle here. Uh, the bottle here, this should be roughly about a 750 milliliter bottle, so basically about a fifth. Uh, pretty much looks like the standard size of any bottle that you might buy at a regular liquor store. Now it uses a this looks to be a synthetic cork style cap that you just push down in there and uh, can go ahead and keep everything inside the bottle, keep it uh, uh, fresh and whatnot uh, while you're drinking it. Uh, there are a couple of labels here. You can see the one says booze, the other one says reserves, uh, private reserve, and then this one says foolproof booze. So it depends, of course, on you know what you want to do with it there is some uh, stuff down there where you can actually write on it maybe what it is or the date or something like that uh, now we've got the little card here uh, this little card is obviously not the standard bespoke postcard this is actually the card that came with the little mini barrel uh, now the barrel obviously the size of the barrel is pretty small but it will hold roughly about the amount to fill up uh, a uh, one-fifth size bottle there uh, now this is by Marcellian, or Marcellin uh, is the company, and it is a uh, American oak, so it's charred American oak. As you can see here, there is a little opening there. There is also an opening at the top, and that of course is for the two pieces right here. Uh, now you've got uh, here. It does give you a little bit of instructions as well. Just to mention, um, they do suggest that you. Uh, that you fill this uh, with water uh, to cause it, basically it's going to cause the wood to swell and it's going to seal it so that when you put your alcohol into it, it's not going to leak out, it's not going to leach and you're going to lose the actual alcohol or anything else into the wood. It's going to stay inside and then it's going to be able to absorb all of those uh, smells and flavors uh, that are infused in the wood. Uh, and then, of course, it has a few other little instructions on the back. But it's pretty straightforward as to what you're going to do. Uh, now you, of course, have your spout and your bung. Your bung, of course, going on the top here. And that is going to be a pretty tight fit. This is a, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks like it's a synthetic, a synthetic cork. It is fairly soft and malleable. So it should fit in there pretty nicely. Just kind of cork it on top there. And then you have the wooden shaped uh, little spigot or uh, spout. And it has just a little turn knob, has a little metal piece here that once you turn that, of course, it opens. There'd be like a little hole on the inside there that lines up with the hole here. So when you turn it, lets it pour out and you can pour it straight from the cask. Or you can, of course, take and pour from this into your bottle and then go on and move to your next thing that you want to smoke or, or, or flavor in any way. Uh, but uh, real simple, obviously. Put it in there. You make sure it's nice and tight. And uh, then you can just let it sit. And the next box that we've got is right here. And as you can see, again, another one of their standard size boxes. This isn't the big square. It's more of the regular rectangular one. Uh, and this is the River Kit. Let's go ahead and open this one up, and you can see what these are. All right, guys, so here's the next one. And the next one is fairly simple, just like the first one. Uh, this is, well, like I said, uh, that River Kit. Um, you've got uh, three real products here and then a couple of cards. This goes, this is their actual card. Uh, and uh, it says River Box, and it tells you the three things uh, that are in it. And uh, then we've got a little card right here that actually goes with this little pouch. So since we've got the card there, 
We've got the pouch, we'll look at it. As you can see, it is a simple black, kind of a nylon-esque type of pouch. It has a couple different features to it, a handful of them actually. Uh, one of them, if you can see there, is pretty darn glossy. And I believe that is to try and keep the water out a little bit. Obviously, this is just a fold over, so you know, if you get submerged or if it's you walk under a waterfall or whatever, uh, it's going to leak into it. But in general, it's going to kind of help keep water out. Now, it does have some little loops here that you can attach some things to. Uh, we're looking at probably about four inches across and uh, for the actual compartment right around um, three and three quarter to four inches tall uh, thereabouts. So uh, that's a rough estimate. You've got a little belt loop type thing there, but then you also have the flat big one across here. Uh, now it does have the little sticker, well not sticker, but their little label on the front. And this is by Yakota Supply, is the uh, the brand. And then also along with this, it has a nice little carabiner. And this is actually, well this is a pretty nice one because it does have the little screw on. So it twists and then you can press the little thing and uh, take it on and off. Now it is obviously a little bit of a rectangular one. Uh, this is a flat side, whereas the rest are round. This is obviously aluminum, extremely lightweight and everything, but with that little spin-up that it has, the keeper there, uh, that's going to keep it so that you don't accidentally bump it and get it to fall off or anything like that. Next thing we've got is anti-fog spray, obviously. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be used on um, things like your glasses or something like that, uh, and it's going to help keep... Uh, keep them from getting fogged up. If you have, uh, if you're wearing goggles, especially like sports goggles or something like that. Uh, and then the last thing here is actually the river, the, well, the knife, the river knife, whichever way you want to put it. And obviously this is by uh, Tanu. And uh, this, I mean, again, for those of you who have watched before, I do tend to get a lot of knives and things like that. Um, I mean, I've got some pretty nice ones and I've got some uh, pretty sketchy ones. Uh, now this one has some special features and I think, you know what, let's go ahead and rip into this and we'll get really into it a little bit. Alright, so we got it out of there. Let's go ahead and read a little bit about what it says on here. Um, one of the things, obviously, it talks about the fact that it's got a blunt tip. So we don't have a sharp tip to get in there, um, like if you're trying to poke into something. Um, this is more uh, a general purpose utility knife rather than a specialty, uh, maybe something like a skinning knife or something like that. I think one of the nice things about that is that certain things uh, will use a flathead screwdriver, so you have this for that. Uh, now, this isn't super thick, so obviously you're not going to crank the crap out of something, uh, but you can use it. I know fishing reels do have that, uh, that uh, flat blade style uh, screw, I guess you want to call it, on, on the handle there uh, when you want to. If you want to change it from a lefty to a righty or something like that, you can use this for that. Tighten that, uh, that screw and nut system down. Uh, things like that. Uh, it has obviously a, uh, well, the sheath and the sheath have a, has a sheath lock, which we'll get into. Um, that's actually this little piece right here and it goes along with this thing right here. If you can actually see that, uh, maybe we can try and zoom in on that so that we can see those two pieces. Um, and then it does say that it is corrosion resistant. So um, this, I'm guessing, is probably some type of a stainless steel. And then this is a plastic and rubber grip type of handle. Um, has the little, has a little uh, finger well right there. So that's nice. And uh, it's pretty nice. It's, it's substantial. It's, it's a lot heavier than you might think, which is nice uh, because we definitely have it going from here all the way to the back. This is all still part of the same piece, so that makes it nice. You've got a full tang. Uh, makes it a lot more secure, a lot more durable, um, and a lot safer overall. Uh, let's just hit up on the, uh, or on the uh, sheath right now. Uh, real quick, we've got a nice big stainless uh, uh, belt clip here. You can put it on, obviously, small ones. You could put it over a pocket. If you have, again, a backpack with a big wide belt, this looks like it would actually fit over that. Uh, you also have these little openings on the side. So you can weave this in with flat strap and strap it to a backpack uh, or uh, strap it to your leg 
uh, something of that nature if you want to. And again, when you want to put this in there, this can go in either way. So if you're lefty or righty, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just slide it in and it snaps into place and then it doesn't want to come out. If you want to let it out, you have these little tabs on the side. Push the little tab a little bit and then it releases it. So that makes it really, really nice in terms of keeping it nice and secure. You're not going to catch it on something. It's not going to drop or anything as long as you have the sheath secured to you or your uh, equipment. So very nice in that aspect. Um, the grip is comfortable. I mean, obviously, this is smaller, so it is fairly small in my hand. So you understand this is not a large knife, obviously, both hands. Uh, it is barely as wide as both hands put together, uh, so not huge. This is only right around a three-inch blade. Uh, yeah, yeah, the blade is roughly about three inches, uh, so not super, not super long, but it's more, like I said, utility knife. We do have a serrated edge here. We do have like a line cutter, and then you do have the straight edge here. Now, as I can feel here, it does have an edge. It's not super sharp. Uh, you may be able to sharpen this up or clean up the edge a little bit using a sharpening steel. Otherwise, you may need to hit it on a stone, uh, depending on how sharp you really want it. Uh, now, on the back end, you do have a couple little opening pieces here. Let's take a look. On the back here, it does explain a little bit. Uh, it just says lanyard hole, uh, it, basically. So either one of these two, this round or this oblong hole here, can be used for a lanyard if you want to put that on there. But uh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to finish this up because next we want to hit that right there. And obviously that black box was in with this. All right. Well, obviously, like I said, this is the uh, Bespoke Post Black Box Edition. This is uh, because I got two boxes. The two boxes equal up to $90, uh, $45 for each box. Uh, and uh, so I got the premium box. Let's take a look. First thing we've got is the card, and the card then has a whole bunch of stuff on the back here. You can see that's a pretty decent list. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different products in this little box here. Let's go ahead and check them out. Uh, now, let's see. We've got Broad. Okay, that's a. Uh, I've not heard of these, and it says Electrolyte Vitamins. So it says it contains two individual pouches. Uh, and these are bring your own drink, bring your own drink electrolytes anywhere, anytime, zero calories, zero artificial sweeteners, uh, lose the sports drink, use Broad. Okay, well, I sound like a, I sound like an ad, uh, which, eh. but uh, anyhow, so what you're going to do with these, I guess, is uh, you have maybe a bottle of water or something like that. You'll take two of the Broad tablets and... Uh, Basically, I mean, well, it doesn't have to be water, but it suggests water. And uh, you take two of the tablets. You don't put the tablets in the water. You can just pop them just like pills or whatever. Maybe you chew them up or whatever, however you want to do that. Uh, keep them in your pocket or something like that and keep yourself uh, healthy, hydrated, and functioning properly. Uh, let's see. Next one we've got is a glass incense holder. And this is by verveculture.com. And uh, this is from uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado, is where this came from. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of these things, majority of them, as I understand, are mostly smaller businesses in the U.S. So you are going to support small businesses with a lot of these uh, purchases and whatnot. And uh, what we've got is uh, it's not, just kind of a little, it looks like a little donut, basically. Um, now, it looks, at first, I thought it was a solid piece of glass, but it's not. It's actually hollow. So they made like a little sphere, or not a, maybe they started with a sphere. And they smashed it flat, so you got it so it sets flat. And then they pushed a, uh, a little hole down through the center there, it looks like. And that looks like it's going to be what holds your incense sticks. Uh, let's see, next one we've got, this is pretty common. We got some socks. And uh, these are pretty nice looking socks, actually. Uh, these are unsimply stitched. And uh, it says they are designed in L.A., basically. Uh, they are made in China, though. Uh, let's see. We have got these ones. Um, they go by shoe size. They are rated for uh, men 8 to 12. 
Um, if you have your, if you're going to go by European sizes, 41 to 46. Women's it goes 8 to 13. Uh, but uh, as you can see, they're basically a simple dress sock. It has a nice, uh, very light, not white, like off-white color. Green little band there at the top. You've got gray, green at the heel, and then you've got green at the toe. And then it just says unsimply right there above the toe line. Uh, they're thin. Again, like I said, a dress sock. So uh, very nice and, uh, you know, could be a good stocking stuffer for somebody if you, if you think about it. So there you go. There's the next one. And here we go. Keep moving along because we've got quite a few. Oh, here we go. We've got a wazoo. And a wazoo, it's a little tiny whistle. Uh, it's an SOS micro whistle is what they call it. Uh, it has a little uh, beaded keychain. it looks like. And uh, let's see, it is designed by a former NASA engineer to minimize size, maximize output, and function reliably in the, reliably in the most extreme conditions. Um, attach it, stash it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there are little advertising kind of information there. Let's go ahead and pop it out. It seems to be made maybe like some lightweight metal, maybe aluminum, maybe something else. Let's try it out. I'm blowing really quiet, so hopefully it doesn't hurt your ears. But uh, that is a very light blow. This is a good. This would be a good safety thing. All right. So the next one here is uh, oak, oak moss and amber. Uh, let's see, Bradley Mountain, made in the USA. Room spray. Okay. So, oh, oak moss and amber. That must be the smell. The actual smell of it. So definitely very kind of uh, rustic, maybe sort of uh, cabin, cabinous. I can actually smell it already. And it's actually, it's, it's very interesting. I do, I do really like it. Um, it's definitely, I would think cabin. I, if, I was, if I was in a cabin or if I had a cabin or something like that, this is the kind of smell that I would kind of associate with that. So pretty nice, simple little bottle. That's going to be what, maybe, maybe two ounces of it in there doesn't actually say right here uh, but you only have the little label right there oh actually yeah it does it does say two ounces and it does say that you should shake it up so obviously uh, it separates a little bit keep it shaken up so that uh, when you spray it it'll be a nice uh, even even smell and tone and consistent and whatnot uh, let's see next one we've got okay a little one another little one I should say uh, oh okay well, old-fashioned, and old-fashioned because these are bitters-infused cubes, and this is by, uh, let's see, Yes Cocktail Company. So uh, we've got, uh, let's see, three, seven, seven little cubes. They look like they dissolve, almost like little, they almost look like sugar cubes. Um, I'm going to guess they're probably not sugar, though. And uh, they are infused with bitters. Let's see. For the perfect old-fashioned, uh, muddle one cube in two ounces of bourbon, rye, or brandy. Add a large ice sphere and garnish with an orange peel. Orange twist. Excuse me. So, uh, so there you go. So you want to make, if you like your old fashions, here you go. Or you know somebody that does like old fashions can use that to, uh, to uh, well, again, good stocking stuffer for somebody who's maybe a connoisseur of, uh, you know, various alcohols. Again, well, we did get that cask earlier, so kind of goes along with it, doesn't it? Uh, and no, I didn't know any of this stuff was going to be in here. Uh, next thing we've got is a little leather strap. Ezra Arthur. And, oh, it's a, it's a key, it would be like a key strap of some type, I think. Um, maybe put your key ring there. And then you've got the little loop here that can go on your belt, little leather strap, and there now you've got your keys hanging off of there. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a few other ideas on what you could do. Now, this one does uh, have a, uh, a nice little thing. Now, this is, again, like I said, Ezra Arthur. It is made in the USA. And also, if you guys uh, want to uh, get something from them, they do have a little discount here, 27% off the next order at Ezra, and it's E-Z-R-A-A-R-T-H-U-R. -A -A -R -R. So Ezra Arthur, all one word, dot com. 
You use the code BESPOKE. Shh, I didn't tell you that. But there we go. So uh, nice little thing. Again, great, great, I think a great idea for a stocking stuffer. And all right, looks like we are down to our last one. And it is another little black box. Uh, now this says, oh boy, let's see if I can pronounce this right. Tige, uh, T-I-E-G-E -E, with a little with a little accent over the first E, and then it's Hanley. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see because it's black lettering. Uh, uncomplicated skin care for men. Okay, so let's go ahead. How do we open this one up? There it is. Okay, so a little magnetic thing opens up from the front, uh, and then it's tige.com, so T-I-E-G-E.com, if you want to check them out. Uh, Welcome bespoke post fans to Tiege Hanley. Okay, so specifically made for bespoke post, which I know that quite a few of these things are. And we've got a hand, oh, we've got a handful of, in a sense, bath products. Uh, here's a lot of praise coming from maybe previous purchasers, etc. So we won't worry about that. Uh, we've got a couple of cards, and uh, let's see. Skin Care for Men, it is a welcome card. It then has uh, a little bit of information. Uh, it, it tells you, oh, it actually tells you more in the morning, use it like this, in the evening, use it like that. It even has a little circle chart here that says how much that you're supposed to use for the way you're using it, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, now they have a total of seven, yeah, it looks like uh, seven things here on the card, uh, we did get three of these in this box, so you have multiple things that are not included in here that are available. Uh, let's see, oh, again, well, even more than seven because here is a little uh, picture of, um, I think that's probably gonna be most of their stuff if it's not all of it. And uh, there is the little uh, QR code on here. Uh, I'm going to guess you're probably going to get, oh, here you go, subscribe to a system and get a free gift. So obviously this is a subscription type of box, uh, very similar to Bespoke. If you want to get that, it's going to be tige.com forward slash Bespoke Post. So just uh, add that Bespoke Post when you go to visit their website and uh, you can get a, free, a freebie item. Uh, now the stuff they gave me, they gave me a daily face wash on uh, this two and a half milliliters. Uh, and uh, so, so there we go. Let's see. Mild, mild, it reminds me um, kind of of like the Nivea skin, skincare stuff, similar. Um, my nose is still kind of clogged up from the spray, so I'm getting a lot of scents here, so it's hard to distinguish that. The next thing we've got is uh, for your hands, it is three quarters of an ounce of moisturizing hand lotion. Uh, so let's take a, and from what I can tell, it seems to be similar to the, to the wash. So uh, again, kind of, kind of similar to something like a Nivea or something like that for men. Um, it, it is my rough estimate on that. I may be a little off. Uh, and then this next one says AM, and it is morning facial moisturizer with SPF 20. So uh, you've got a little bit of sunscreen mixed in with your moisturization, and uh, there you go. So two moisturizers, hands and face, and then a simple wash. And this is, of course, again, like I said, a face wash. So this is all focused on the face, um, keeping your face clean, clear, and uh, ready for the day, I guess. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it. I am, honestly, I'm tired of talking to you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a mood right now, I guess. But uh, if you guys want to check any of this kind of stuff out, it, of course, again, is down there in the... Just follow that link down there for uh, Bespoke Post. Uh, like I said, get 20 bucks off for, you know, your first box. Uh, you might as well save some money. I mean, that's that's why that's part of the reason why it's down there. And then I've given you some of these other little codes and stuff like that. If you want to get some of their products directly, you can do that. Uh, but uh, that'll do it for me, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a uh, great holiday, whatever you celebrate, even if you celebrate. If you don't, well, that's fine. You can still enjoy these products. 
Uh, this is another episode of the Bespoke Post from uh, here from me, Cougar, on World of Me. Uh, if you guys want to check out the social medias down there below, don't forget, I really love it if you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment on what you think about some of this stuff. Uh, you know, I, I mean, obviously I haven't used it all yet. Uh, I do plan on doing some stuff, like I said, with the cast, so keep an eye on the channel for that one. I guess that's going to do it for me. I'd like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.